Another day, another story. Secret facts about Tutankhamun. Secret fact number one, Tutankhamun's original name. One of the lesser known secrets about Tutankhamun, is that he was not originally named Tutankhamun. When he was born, he was given the name Tutankhotun, which means the living image of the atom. This name reflected the religious beliefs of his father, Akhenaten, who worshipped the sun god Aten as the supreme deity. Secret fact number two, Tutankhamun's mysterious death. While it is widely known that Tutankhamun died at a young age, the exact cause of his death has remained a subject of speculation and mystery. Recent studies and examinations of his mummified remains have suggested various theories, including a possible chariot accident or a genetic disorder that weakened his immune system. However, conclusive evidence has yet to be found, leaving his death shrouded in secrecy. Secret Fact Number 3, Tutankhamun's Hidden Treasures when Tutankhamun's tomb was discovered in 1922 by British archaeologist Howard Carter, it revealed an astonishing array of treasures. However, what many people do not realize is that there were even more hidden treasures that were not initially found. The tomb had been looted and partially robbed in ancient times, leaving some of Tutankhamun's treasures scattered and misplaced. It was only during subsequent excavations and careful restoration work that these hidden treasures were gradually unearthed. Secret Fact Number 4, Tutankhamun's Mummy's Missing Heart Upon examining Tutankhamun's mummy, archaeologists made a startling discovery, his heart was missing. In ancient Egyptian beliefs, the heart was considered the center of a person's being and was an essential component for the afterlife. The absence of Tutankhamun's heart has puzzled experts, leading to numerous theories, including the possibility that it was intentionally removed during the mummification process or that it may have been stolen in ancient times. Secret Fact Number 5, Tutankhamun's Burial Mask Tutankhamun's burial mask is one of the most iconic artifacts of ancient Egypt. Crafted from solid gold and adorned with precious gemstones, it is a symbol of the wealth and opulence of the pharaohs. However, what many people do not know is that the mask was not originally intended for Tutankhamun. It was initially created for another pharaoh, possibly his stepmother Nefertiti, and was repurposed for Tutankhamun's burial after his untimely death. These secret facts shed light on the enigmatic life and death of Tutankhamun, offering a glimpse into the mysteries that surround this ancient Egyptian pharaoh. Despite the passage of time, Tutankhamun continues to captivate us with his hidden secrets, leaving us with an enduring fascination for one of history's most intriguing figures. The iconic gold mask, known as the Death Mask of Tutankhamun, holds a captivating history that stretches far beyond its intended purpose. While it is true that the mask was repurposed for Tutankhamun's burial, its origins trace back to a time long before his reign. The story begins with the enigmatic queen, Nefertiti, renowned for her beauty and influence during the Amarna period. It is believed that the mask was initially created for her, serving as a symbol of her power and divinity. Crafted with meticulous detail, the mask showcased Nefertiti's delicate features, accentuated by intricate goldwork and exquisite gemstones. However, fate had a different plan for the mask. Upon Tutankhamun's sudden demise, the pharaoh's advisors found themselves in a race against time to prepare a burial fit for a king. Desperate to honor their young ruler, they sought to imbue his burial with grandeur and magnificence. It was during this chaotic period that the decision was made to repurpose Nefertiti's mask for Tutankhamun's burial, a decision that would forever intertwine their legacies. The skilled craftsmen of the time were challenged with adapting the mask to suit Tutankhamun's likeness. With remarkable ingenuity, they modified the facial features, subtly altering the shape of the eyes and the contours of the face to resemble the young pharaoh. The transformation was a testament to their skill and dedication, ensuring that Tutankhamun's essence would forever be preserved within the Golden Mask. 
As the mask was placed upon Tutankhamun's mummified body, it became a symbol of the pharaoh's eternal journey into the afterlife. Its golden brilliance and the gleam of precious gemstones served as a beacon, guiding the young ruler through the treacherous realms of the underworld, towards immortality. The mask's true origins remained shrouded in mystery until its discovery by British archaeologist Howard Carter in 1922. The unearthing of Tutankhamun's tomb brought the mask into the limelight, captivating the world with its beauty and historical significance. It was then that the story of the mask's transformation from Nefertiti's likeness to Tutankhamun's became known, illuminating a tale of interconnectedness between two iconic figures of ancient Egypt. Today, the death mask of Tutankhamun stands as a symbol of both the wealth and opulence of the pharaohs and the fascinating narratives that lie hidden within ancient artifacts. Its journey from Nefertiti to Tutankhamun serves as a reminder of the fluidity of history and the intertwining paths of those who once graced the ancient world. The moment Howard Carter laid eyes on the golden mask, he knew he had unearthed something extraordinary. Its intricate craftsmanship and stunning beauty left him in awe, but it was the mask's mysterious connection to two iconic figures of ancient Egypt that truly captivated his imagination. As Carter delved deeper into the tomb, carefully uncovering the treasures hidden within, he couldn't shake the feeling that there was something unique about this discovery. It was as if the mask carried a secret, waiting to be unveiled. Word of the mask's discovery spread like wildfire, reaching the far corners of the world. People from all walks of life were drawn to its enigmatic allure, eager to catch a glimpse of this ancient artifact. The mask became a symbol of Egypt's rich history, a tangible link to a bygone era. Scholars and experts began to study the mask, trying to unravel its mysteries. Through careful examination, they discovered that it had undergone a transformation, one that connected two of Egypt's most famous pharaohs, Nefertiti and Tutankhamun. Initially believed to be a representation of the beautiful Queen Nefertiti, the mask's true origins were now being questioned. It was discovered that beneath the layer of gold, the mask actually bore the features of Tutankhamun, the boy king who had ruled Egypt centuries after Nefertiti's time. This revelation sparked a flurry of theories and speculation. How had the mask come to be associated with two distinct pharaohs? Was it a deliberate act of homage, or a result of repurposing existing materials? The answers remained elusive, buried within the sands of time.